Measurement of length using a vernier caliper. Recall that one millimeter is one over ten centimeters, which is zero point one centimeter. So these two lengths are the same. Similarly, zero point one millimeter is zero point one divided by ten centimeters, which is zero point zero one centimeter. When we measure length with a ruler. The smallest length that we can measure with the ruler is 1 mm or 0.1 cm. We say that the ruler can measure length to the nearest 1 mm or 0.1 cm. Or we say that the precision of a ruler is 1 mm or 0.1 cm. If we need more precision, we use another device called the vernier caliper. The vernier caliper is an instrument for measuring length and it can measure length to the nearest 0.1 mm or 0.01 cm. So these two lengths are equivalent. So we say that the precision of the vernier caliper is 0.1 mm or 0.01 cm. That is, the smallest length that can be measured using a vernier caliper is 0.1 mm or 0.01 cm. Let us look at the structure of a vernier caliper. It has two external jaws, two internal jaws, a vernier scale, a centimeter scale, and a tail. The external jaws are used for measuring external diameters the thickness and the length of objects. For example, the external diameter of this ring is being measured using the external jaws. Here, the thickness of this board is being measured using the external jaws. And here, the external jaws are used to measure the length of this object. The internal jaws are used for measuring the internal diameters of objects. Here we see the internal jaws being used to measure the internal diameter of this ring. The tail is used for measuring the depth of objects. So here the depth of this tape is being measured using the tail of the vernier caliper. The tail can also be used to measure the length of an object, for example here, the length of this cell is being measured using the tail of the vernier caliper. Let us see how to read a vernier caliper. First of all, note that the vernier scale and the main scale are side by side. And when we open the jaws of the caliper, the vernier scale slides or moves along the main scale. Let us look more closely at the main scale and the vernier scale. The main scale of the vernier caliper is a centimeter scale. So this is 0 centimeters, we have 0 0.1 centimeter or one millimeter, 0 0.2 centimeters or two millimeter, etc. The vernier scale is right next to the main scale and it has 10 divisions. So it is divided in 10 equal parts. The length of the vernier scale is 0 0.9 centimeters. So each division is 0 0.9 over 10 which is 0 0.09 centimeters apart so if you take 0 0.9 centimeters you divide it into 10 equal parts each division will be 0 0.09 centimeters apart let us now look a bit more closely at the scales we will look at the first three millimeters on the main scale so this is the first millimeter so this length is 0.1 centimeters or 1 millimeter. 
we have just seen that the first mark on the Venus scale is 0.09 centimeters from the zero mark. So the length of this part here is 0.1 centimeters minus 0.09 centimeters, which is 0.01 centimeter. Similarly, this is the 2 millimeter mark or 0.2 centimeter mark. So this length is 0.2 centimeters. This length is 0.18 centimeters. That's 0.09 plus 0.09, which is 0.18. So the length of this part here is 0.2 minus 0.18, which is 0.02 centimeters. This is the 3 millimeter mark or 0.3 centimeters. So the length here is 0.3 centimeters. 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.09 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.09 is 0 0.27 centimeters. So the length of this part here is 0 0.03 centimeters. That is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.27. So the first mark is 0 0.01 centimeter from the main scale mark. The second vernier mark is 0.02 cm from the main scale mark. The third vernier mark is 0.03 cm from the vernier mark. And similarly, the fourth vernier mark will be 0.04 cm from the main scale mark, etc. Now, when the vernier caliper is completely closed, the zero mark of the vernier coincides with the zero mark on the main scale. The first mark on the vernier scale is 0 0.01 centimeters from this mark on the main scale. So if we open the caliper as follows, such that the first mark coincides with the main scale. It means that we have opened the caliper a distance of 0 0.01 centimeters. Similarly, the second mark on the Venus scale is 0 0.02 centimeters from the main scale mark here. So if we open the caliper, such that the second mark coincides with the main scale. It means that we have opened the caliper a distance of 0.02 cm. And here, for the third mark to coincide with the main scale, we need to open the caliper a distance of 0.03 cm. In this example here, the zero mark of the vernier is touching the 2 cm mark on the main scale. These two coincide, so the vernier caliper has been opened a distance of 2 cm. So the reading here is 2 cm. Now if we open the caliper a little more, as you can see, the, the third mark of the vernier is going to coincide with the main scale. This means that the caliper has been opened a further 0.03 centimeters. So the reading here is 2.03 centimeters because the main scale reading is 2 centimeters and then we have opened it a further 0.03 centimeters. We say the vernier scale is 0.03 centimeters and the total length is 2.03 centimeters. Similarly, we can read this vernier caliper. So the zero mark is exactly on the two centimeter scale. So we say that the main scale reading is two centimeters. And the vernier scale reading is zero centimeters because the zero mark coincides with the main scale. So the reading is two centimeters.
Here the reading is more than 2 cm because the zero mark is positioned after 2 cm. In fact, it is positioned after 2.1 cm. So the main scale reading is 2.1 cm. And then we need to see by how much the caliper has been opened after 2.1 cm. Now we can see that the fifth mark coincides with the main scale, which means that the caliper has been opened a further 0.05 cm. So the vernier scale reading is 0.05 cm because the fifth mark coincides with the main scale. So the total reading is 2.15 cm. Let us look at another example. So here what is the reading in this vernier caliper? We can see that the zero mark starts is positioned after the 2.4 mark. So the main scale reading is 2.4 centimeters and now we need to see by how much further it has been opened. Now we can see that the ninth mark of the vernier scale coincides with the main scale which means that this length here is 0.09. So the vernier scale reading is 0.09 and the reading is 2.49 centimeters. Here the zero mark of the vernier is positioned after 1.2 centimeters. So the main scale reading is 1.2 centimeters. And now we need to see by how much further it has been opened. And we can see that the 6 mark of the vernier scale coincides with the main scale, which means that this length here is 0 0.06 centimeters, and the length is 1.26 centimeters. Here's another example. So the zero mark is positioned after zero centimeters. So the main scale reading is zero centimeters. And we can see here that the seventh mark of the vernier coincides with the main scale. This means that this length here is 0 0.07 centimeters. And the reading is 0 0.07 centimeters.